Now that we have our three movies and the sound file, we can make our first movie. So let's open up either Final Cut Express, Final Cut Pro. And we will save our project. And just save it somewhere where you'll remember where it is. And then we can import our files. And when we import our files, they end up here in the browser. All of our files will be here in the browser. And we double click these and they will show in the viewer. In the viewer, we can set our endpoints and our outpoints. The endpoint is where we want it to start, and the outpoint is where we want it to stop. To put our tracks into a video, we can just drag them over to the canvas and this window comes up. Overwrite is just to write over any others that you have. Insert pushes all the other ones forward. So here's our clip as it stands. And if I click on this, I can take it, change the size, make it bigger, and thus we can get rid of the uh, watermark. Now, if I try to play this clip by hitting the play, play button, it will show unrendered. We have to fix the video so that we can actually see it as it plays. So we'll go to Sequence, Render All, Both, and that will render the video. So let's do that with our second clip. It's our end point. We can drag it. It's called scrubbing. Set our end point there. And stop it there. Once again, we'll overwrite edit, and that will stick it right next to our other clip. Take our third clip and basically do the same thing. And we can put a title here. By going on the effects tab up here and going to video generators and text. I'll double click text and we can change the font. We can do all kinds of things with this. We got white color That's what that looks like. Let's make it a little bit bigger. And once again, we'll click on the dry, on the gray area, and we'll drag it over as an overlay, and then we'll end up on top of this clip. Notice here we have different tracks. This is something we don't have in iMovie. You can lay a video or a text or whatever you want on top of another video or text. The other thing we can do is add our transitions. Under video transitions, I would suggest only using two. Fade in and out dissolve or cross dissolve. 
it's kind of cheesy, so that's what a fade dissolve would look like. So now we want to put our music in there, and we'll double go back to this tab and double click on our music, set our in point and our out point. can drag this in here now. And now we have music. And we'll want to export that. We'll export that as a QuickTime movie. Desktop, make sure it's self contained audio and video. And with that movie, we can take this movie and put it on the internet.